In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build an entire lesson, lesson plan, activities, anchor chart, a station rotation, a think pair share activity, and a quiz using the AI tool EduAid. So you can either sign in with Google or uh, sign up with an email account. I've already signed in, so I'm going to go ahead and launch um, the tool. And the first thing you need to do is select your subject area and the grade level that you're working with. So I am working with third grade students and I'm gonna scroll down underneath the planning tools. We're gonna to come back to that in a minute. And I'm gonna type in my topic or keyword. And so we have been studying animal habitats. Now I'm just gonna put in animal, animal habitats. I could actually copy and paste a standard a learning target. Uh, I could be more detailed here, but I'm just gonna use animal habits because I, habitats, because I know that whatever I put in here, uh, EduAid will enhance it for me. So I'm gonna click the enhance button and look what happens. It gives me a students will be able to statement regarding around animal habitats. We're going to use this to generate our activities. So I'm going to go back up to the resources, to the content generators, and we're going to start with a lesson seed. I really like this tool because it will give you a lesson outline that includes several different techniques, several different strategies, and several different activities that are aligned to that objective. So we're going to choose lesson seed, and we're going to say add to workspace. Now, as I work today within this tool, the workspace is going to continually add the tool, the content generators that I am using. So this first one is a lesson seed. So we can see we have some objectives. We have the prior knowledge that my students need to use. I have a cue set, some direct instruction, practice assignments, team-based activities, formative assessment measures, some deep questions. And um, so all of that was generated in just seconds. So I can come in here and I can edit any of this because as we know, with anything that is AI generated, we have to review it for accuracy and bias and stereotyping. And I can come in here and I can edit anything that I want to in this lesson seat. I can also transform it quickly and easily. So if I wanted to summarize this, if I wanted to chunk the text or extract keywords, I can use this rocket ship tool to do that. I can then copy this and paste it into a Google Doc so that I can have it. Um, and then I can actually close out of this particular uh, content, this lesson seed, um, if I want to clear my workspace. I can go ahead and retitle this. So um, maybe we're going to call all of these animal habitat lesson seed. Okay, so I've got my lesson seed started. So I'm gonna collapse this. Notice that it stays on my workspace. I notice that down here, my topic that I have is, is, is still there. So I'm gonna go through here and now I'm gonna generate a 5E lesson plan based on the same keyword or topic. I'm gonna add that to my workspace. And so here we go. Here is a lesson plan in the 5E, uh, using the 5E um, lesson plan style. So 5E, remember, is engage, explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate. So this lesson plan is structured in that way. It also gives me closure, some differentiation ideas, and some assessment ideas. And just like with the lesson seed, I can change the name of this, I can transform it, I can edit it, and I can copy it. Okay, what else can we do? Let's take a look at information objects. Maybe I want, maybe this is the first time I've taught animal habitats. Notice that science third grade students has stayed, as has my keyword, uh, my topics that I had entered. Maybe this is the first time I've taught this. I have no idea how to get started. Let's try this direct instruction script and see what happens. I'm gonna add that to my workspace. Notice it's giving me a word for word script of how I can go about teaching this. Again, I'm gonna evaluate this for clarity, for accuracy, whether or not my third graders can do these kinds of things. I'm gonna make it sound like me, but this is a great starting point if I've never taught this topic before. Maybe I need an anchor chart. Let's try an anchor chart. And here it gives me things that I can add to an anchor chart about animal habitats. Great. Let's keep going. How about some independent practice for my kiddos? I maybe need a reading comprehension activity. So reading comprehension, add to workspace. Here comes my reading comprehension. A short paragraph, uh, a short passage, followed by some 
questions based on the passage. Great for checking independent for checking reading comprehension. All right, let's go to cooperative learning. What can we find under cooperative learning? Well, maybe I want to do a station rotation for this particular topic. Let's try learning stations. Add it to my workspace. Here comes my learning stations. And look, it's giving me a lot of different ideas for stations that I could use to um, introduce this topic to my students. And again, all of these, these are just suggestions, but it actually gives me a great starting point if I wanted to do a station rotation activity uh, for this. Uh, another one that I really like is Think Pair Share. I think sometimes we go too quickly through those <laughs> Think Pair Share um, steps, but here we can get some more specific details about how we can conduct that activity with our students. Love that think pair share. Now, um, let's try another one of the, we're going to, I'm going to actually take this learning target, this topic, this keywords that I've been work, working with, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to try one of the other tools in here. I'm going to go over to the assessment builder, okay, and I'm going to enter that with that same theme that I've been working with. I don't need to enhance it because we already did that once, but I am going to specify the grade level. So we're working with third grade. Let's generate some multiple choice questions based on this topic. All right, here's a couple of multiple choice questions. Notice the different things that I can do. If it's not hard enough, I can increase the difficulty. If it's too hard, I can decrease the difficulty. If it's not exactly right, I can come in here and I can edit the question and the answer choices. All right, I like this question and I like this question, so I'm going to add it over here. All right, how about um, a true-false question? Let's try some true-false. There are some true-false questions. I can also regenerate questions if I didn't like those questions. Let's add this one. How about a fill-in-the-blank, some fill-in-the-blank options? Here are my fill in the blank options. Let's add both of those. And notice that over here, it's also keeping track of the answer for me. Uh, let's do a short answer question or two. Those both look good. So let's go ahead and add those. Now we've got all of our questions added over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this to my workspace. It's going to take me back to my workspace, and here are, here are all of the things that I've already generated, expanded. So let's just close all those up until we get to our assessment on animal habitats. And from here, I can take this and copy and paste it into a Google Doc or a Google Form and be able to have those uh, questions that I can use with my students. So EduAid has just so many things that teachers can use. Um, I just spent eight minutes and I have generated a ton of content that I can use. It would have taken me hours to generate all of that content. As with everything, I need to go through and I need to verify that everything is correct, but this is a great, great starting point for teaching a lesson on animal habitats.